Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your AI agent for MCP. Let's go ahead and get started. So you'll notice I have a, a little different setup in this video and that's because I have Claude desktop app open here on my desktop. I also have the agent that I'd like to make available for MCP. And what we're going to do is we're going to give Claude some additional capabilities, specifically the ability to generate video. You see that we have a agent that is set up to generate video and it takes in a video prompt. It enhances that prompt and then it sends that prompt through the AI video model. And we'll want to make sure that this is published uh, in a very specific way. You want to make sure that in your start block you have the trigger mode set as a packaged workflow and you can uh, enter all of the packaged metadata here. Uh, what we're going to do next once this is published is we are going to go to our uh, main workspace and then open up our workspace and then you'll see this MCP server. And what we can do at this point is we can expose this AI agent for use inside of Claude. The way we do that is we'll go back to our project and then we will get our agent ID which is found inside of the metadata. So we can copy this agent ID inside of our workspace on the MCP server tab, we will then paste in the ID. We will add this in, and then you'll see that we have some connection details here. Now, what we are going to do is we are simply going to um, copy this code, and then we're gonna click on our Claude desktop app. Now, from there, you'll want to open up the settings, which you can find in your desktop uh, files here under Claude, and we'll open up Claude settings here, and we can open up the developer settings. Now from here, we will have this thing that says edit config. And when we click on edit config, we will be able to find the config file. Now, if you have a code editor, it's very easy to uh, simply open this up. Uh, but what we're going to do instead is we're going to right click, uh, for those of you that don't have a code editor, and we're simply going to open this in the text edit native app inside of Apple, or you can use your text editor. And I can't zoom in here, but what you want to do is just highlight everything, you can delete it, and then you can paste in that snippet that is available inside of this MCP uh, server here. Then we're going to save the file. So I'm going to go ahead, file, save. And now this is all saved. So we can close this, we can close this. And what we're going to want to do is we will completely quit out of Claude. So I'm going to go ahead and quit. And then we will reopen Claude. So let me go ahead and reopen Claude. And then we should be able to see uh, under here, we have this Mind Studio. Uh, now available. And so we can open this up. You can see that it has this MCP, um, you know, uh, ID here. And now what we can do is just use Claude how we would normally use Claude. And what this allows it to do is when necessary, let's say we want to ask it to generate a video, it knows that it has an exposed agent called video generator. So I can say generate a video of a dog riding a unicycle or whatever we want to generate, it's then going to uh, see that it, it cannot do that and now makes that MCP request. And it's going to ask us if we'd like to use this integration. We can choose to allow it once, I'm gonna allow it always. And at this point, you can see that it sends in the video prompt automatically. It generates this video prompt. And we can even see in our project here that if we open up the debugger, we have a new workflow running. So it's going to start creating the video for us. It has just finished enhancing the prompt. I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward in this video. We'll go ahead and open up uh, Claude in the front and uh, I will skip forward until the video has finished generating. 
All right, so it has finished generating. Let's go ahead and check out what the output is. So you can see here that we can open this up. This is the prompt that it was sent, and here is the response. We get this video file, and then it responds with that video file. It says, I've generated a video of a dog riding a unicycle for you. We can also see that the run has completed, and we do get this file here. So let's go ahead and we'll click on the link here and we will open up the link and you can see we now have this uh, video of a dog riding a bicycle um, instead of a unicycle <laughs> it must have been a pretty difficult thing to generate but uh, it generated the video nonetheless and that is the point of this you can allow uh, claude or you know other um, AI uh, tools like this to get access to the AI agents that you create in order to enhance the capabilities of your uh, AI uh, model platform of your choosing. So super powerful, unlocks many, many capabilities. Hope you learned something valuable in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates to Mind Studio, and we'll see you next time.